Hello, in this presentation we will talk about what will be covered in the enter data for the second month of operations section of the course. We will be continuing to the second month of operations. This will be another comprehensive section within the course. We will be covering once again the processes for the month including the customer or receivables or sales process, the payables or vendors process, and the employee process. However, we will be focusing on some different types of transactions, looking more on non-cash type transactions within the second month of operations. This is a comprehensive problem, so at this point in time, if we went forward with everything to this point, we should be okay. However, if there are any problems or we just want to make sure that we are at the same point in time, remember that we do have those optional backups and you'll see this presentation every once in a while. To remind you that you could go to a certain point in the problem and start from that point going forward and that will put us all on the same page so that we can move forward and all be on the same page also of course if you want to jump forward you can do that if you're jumping to this point uh, you can jump to this point or somewhere close to this point by using those backup files we will be continuing with making a loan payment. So we'll talk about an amortization table a bit. What is an amortization table? How can we enter loan payments within to the QuickBooks system properly? Short-term investment deposits, we'll enter that. We'll have a purchase order for a new item. So we'll make a purchase order and create a new item while making the purchase order. Receive inventory with a bill. So we're going to record the inventory receipt and the bill as it has been received. We're going to have a sales and deposit transaction, advance payments from customers. So this is going to be a situation where we got paid before we did the work and how are we going to record that within QuickBooks. Apply credit to an invoice. Now we're going to have an invoice that we're going to have to apply a payment that was received before we made the invoice and see how that is done through QuickBooks. Record sale on account, advance customer payment, once again getting payment before uh, we do the work. How are we going to enter that in QuickBooks? Uh, bills track and pay. We're going to track bills and pay bills. Customer payments on account. We're going to receive payments on account. Pay the sales tax. So we're going to have to pay that sales tax that we have been collecting on the sales we have made for merchandise. That's going to be the sales tax. Pay payroll taxes. We also had to uh, take payroll taxes from the uh, employees as we process the paychecks as well as have our portion of the payroll taxes which we then will need to pay to the government. We're going to enter bills and pay bills so we'll look at those month in bills again and we'll enter those bills in a couple different formats to show how we can enter those bills into the system in a few different ways. Enter service items and inventory so we're going to enter new service items and inventory items purchase equipment with debt we're going to purchase equipment but rather than paying cash how are we going to record it if we take out a loan for that purchase of equipment we will enter the payroll at the end of the time period as well we're going to have rental income so a new type of income for the business and then we're going to run those comparative financial statements again and look at uh, those financial statements as of the end of the process and see how we are doing at that point in time 